turnout of young people at the polls this year, some in support of Senator Kerry, while some were in support of President Bush. The president and his family remained calm and hopeful while waiting for the final results from the state of Ohio. The Democratic Party, however, refused to concede, saying a substantial number of uncounted provisional ballots could give them victory in Ohio. But Senator Kerry knew that with a result of 286 to 252, there was a slight chance of winning. Students at Howard University expressed their views about the outcome of the campaigns. Disappointed. You know, I have a sense in my, my intuition tells me that something wasn't right about the elections, that the outcome should have, in fact, been different. I know that we went out to vote in mass numbers. When I say we, people of color, young people, went out to vote in mass numbers. And I understand there were long lines at the polls in Ohio, in Florida, which were two of the contested states. Um, having Bush in office another four years, I think, unless something changes drastically, is really not going to be of direct service to people of color, other than the fact that it will help us to be more vigilant in fighting for our rights through our organizations like the NAACP and others. Okay. Some foreign students at the university felt it wasn't safe to comment about the outcome of the elections. However, others pointed out their concerns about foreign policies. I think uh, the policy should be changed to reflect more of what uh, these African countries need to get expressed. For example, in terms of farming subsidies, you know, that's in the economic side of it. The U.S. shouldn't just be the one that overrules what African farmers have to say. They should also be given a chance. Politically speaking, just because democracy works here doesn't automatically mean it will work somewhere else. They should find out a way of introducing it slowly by slowly. Everything just won't be won't be established and, you know, and take off immediately. So the approach to democracy, uh, especially human rights, should be a little bit different. You know, I mean, it should vary from country to country. Okay, all right. With a victory of 51 to 48 percent, President Bush has promised to heal and unite a nation that was culturally divided during the campaigns. For News Vision, I'm Obi Wanwe. Ground for political candidates. Where bears in the woods are chased by Grecian forms and bald eagles. TV is mechanized over the masses, co-sponsored by environmentally safe gases. Watch for the PBS special. It's a perpetuation of the two parties.